Good day, playmates, and uh, welcome to another Harmer vid. Uh, it has been uh, quite a while since I put any content up uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. So, uh, instead of the usual uh, DCS and um, other Sims, uh, I'm looking at an, a, a game called Carrier Battles. Uh, which essentially uh, are a number of different scenarios uh, from 1942 onwards uh, in the uh, Pacific uh, USA versus uh, USN, uh, actually IJN, sorry, Imperial Japanese Navy. And um, I was quite intrigued buy this uh, so I bought it and what I'm going to do is uh, go through a bit of a learning experience uh, hopefully it's not going to take too long and hopefully uh, it will be interesting enough for you to um, have a look at it's essentially uh, for, for want of a better word a board game style um, war game and as such um, you get to do air and sea operations uh, on a map of the uh, battle area uh, with your units and then basically you click uh, a, a time counter and then that increments uh, an hour and 20 minutes uh, to the next period during the day and so on and so forth. Um, anyway, look uh, let's go with a uh, new game and uh, I'm just going to go with naval search tutorial and uh, we get uh, familiar with air ops and search missions um, and uh, we've got ships bearing down on Port Moresby and we sent scouting planes from uh, two air bases uh, so we've got no choice but to play the US uh, the Japanese advance into the Solomon, so it's uh, oh, missed that. Uh, okay, uh, early January, I think, 1942. Um, so, yep, we just get familiar with air ops. Okay, and yep, let's do this. Um, so, air ops are limited to search missions, so we can't actually send any airstrikes out. Um, Japanese, I don't know whether, I can't actually move that, yeah, okay, but anyway, uh, Japanese task force are not vi visible at the beginning, and, yep, okay, progressively, we've got three turns uh, until 900 hours, uh, f for uh, zero, four, zero, zero is dawn, and the beginning of air operations um, okay so we can either go to the map uh, or s go to scenario information no you can't uh, all right let's go to the map okay so uh, so it looks like our two um, our two air bases are uh, Port Moresby and uh, task force 11 okay um, and as you can see the maps quite nice uh, the red lines are basically shallow reefs I think uh, and are not possible to I th uh, not possible to all naval units? I don't know. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, we got uh, clear hexes, cloudy hexes, squall hexes. Um, and yeah, the, the whole map looks uh, quite nice. A and as you can see, uh, it is uh, a fair size. Uh, so it uh, brings in uh, Australia, uh, New Caledonia, New Hebrides, um, yeah, so it's a fair old map. Uh, okay, so, 
let's crack on so conduct to air operations on carriers and land and air bases uh, yeah all right let's do it then uh, so we got the Lexington um, and uh, just mousing over uh, showing the two green bats uh, where operations proceed optimally uh, okay yep all right that's good but first of all let's go to let's go to Port Moresby um, okay in the hangar we've got one unit and uh, this the A29 uh, it's one counter which uh, consists of four aircraft and then you can see all the various stats reading uh, on the top. Uh, you've got the air to air factor, uh, you've got the air to ground factor in the middle, and you've got the air to sea factor uh, for hitting naval targets. And then uh, on the next uh, column down, you've got ruggedness, and then uh, right at the bottom is uh, its remaining endurance. Uh, so 36 is the number of hexes it can fly to or the number of phases it can stay aloft before running out of fuel um, okay now I'm not quite sure if the number of hexes it can fly to also means that it can also fly back as well otherwise it would only be 18 hexes um so let me just check that um mm, 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 mm. Uh, how do i do that how do i get back to the map um i'm not sure all right anyway all right so uh, uh, the top areas represent different missions yeah okay um, yep that seems fair enough uh, sending scout planes is the first step to seek and destroy it yep of course that's uh, fair enough um, okay and choose to move air units by stack all one by one yeah okay to move forward please move some bombers from the hangar to the search box okay uh, let's move units one by one and let's move this to a search area here uh, okay let's now edit this uh, alrighty so we can change the arc of the search pattern and we can uh, oh, got quite a nice uh, few effects and uh, and the arc as well so essentially um, I think for Port Morsby uh, that would be the arc to go um, maximum search radius they'll turn back uh, when their air search radi radius reaches a chosen value it should be available again soon uh, sooner yeah okay so I mean essentially yeah you can do shorter ranges uh, which they can do uh, a few different times during the day but since this is only I think three turns until nine o'clock uh, we'll make this guy go the maximum search radius uh, all right so let's do that um, so select the timer to view air units in preparation for this okay um, one turn equals an hour and 20 minutes yep all righty yep that seems fair enough uh, now use the next phase button now I'm not gonna do that because uh, I want to get uh, okay I want to organize uh, okay so we've got 
um, uh, Devastators and Dauntlesses. We have got eight of them. A torpedo bombers, and we've got sixteen dive bombers. All right, so I might send. Uh, so I might send. Well, I'll send one out here. And uh, I think that we'll do a. Uh, I think probably a uh, sixty degree. not let's just uh, let's just let's just go back let's here we go let's go into the 20 hex search okay um, okay so we're gonna go with 120 uh, maybe a 60 let's go with a 60 degree arc Okay, that sounds reasonable. Uh, let's put another one in there. Uh, so we got two guys doing that. Um, okay, so. Let's uh, head along. Uh, okay, so now, uh, okay, I can see where my search is beginning to take shape, and uh, yeah, okay, I think I should have gone with a, a more northerly search pattern, but anyway. It is what it is. Um, okay, so let's go again. And let me just turn some of these. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a bit easier to see. So this is now showing my ground search pattern uh, and my air search pattern. And uh, what do we got here? C consult a log of important events, which I can't, don't appear to be able to do at the moment. Uh, all right, so uh, okay, I can. Looks like I can now move my task force to an adjacent hex. All right, let's do it. Uh, the hex is on and let's move click and hold to move it to an adjacent hex alrighty go back to air operations and do we wish to prepare Another search. Um, probably not. I might wait for the others to come, start to come back before I send another one out. Uh, alrighty. Uh, all right, go on then. Let's just put some. Um, let's go. Drop tank bombs, transfer scout. Let's go scout. So we're preparing aircraft on deck. 
uh, okay uh, repetitiveness okay all right I'm with it now select a st okay uh, select a, uh, a stack of cap searching units to make their mission repetitive all right so uh, um, when the planes come back okay Uh, Port Mosby, select, select a stack to make their mission repetitive. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So, let's plan a search mission for the airfield 2. Here we have... Um, okay, uh, so... Okay, so it's up to you now. All right. Okay. Launch and search by. Yep. Okay. Do not. Okay. Let's tick that off. All right. Maybe we can. All right. Now, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> when all else fails, <laughs> read read the instructions. Uh, all right, so basically this search pattern here is repetitive and uh, all right, that's the situation at the moment. So can we access other stuff? Yes, we can. Uh, our current score is a draw, uh, four points, okay. Details, yeah, okay, losses, all right, okay. Uh, okay, so we got information. Oh, 620 intelligence gain in hex 3848 by Coast Watchers. Yeah, um, yep. So, yeah, okay, alright. Um, yep, that's the air ops. That's the map. Okay, so Coast Watchers have seen. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. So, a small surface force um, has been spotted by our uh, Islander Coast Watchers. Uh, that is not at all relevant to us. We're looking for... Um, yeah, we're looking for uh, maybe a task force coming down this way. Um, maybe from Rabul, which I'm, I'm not sure, I think it's maybe up here, as I remember, but anyway, uh, right, so, uh, 6.40 in the morning, let's advance another, okay, so now, uh, we're actually, uh, overlapping, and it looks like I can move my task force. So let's uh, let's move the task force. To there. No. Can I do that? No. Okay. No, I can't because it's not. It doesn't have movement available to it at this moment in time. Uh, okay, now... Ah, okay. Ah, this is what we're after. So we've got the Lexington, uh, three, four heavy cruisers, and one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six destroyers. Uh, and it looks like we got seaplanes. Um, selected ship. So I could actually send out seaplanes from these. Uh, what a pilot. Uh, okay. Can I? Select a ship to enter an air hop, hop. Right, yeah, we did that. So... 
Why can I not enter an air hop an air op with any of these guys? Uh, maybe they automatically send out seaplanes. I seem to remember that seaplanes are entirely handled by the um, entirely handled by the the computer, so it's all probably already sent seaplanes out. Uh, all right, so let's click onwards. And okay, still nothing. Apart from that one Japanese unit over there. Okay, so we're now at. Uh, which is quite good because our. Um, Um, our uh, naval f air and our ground air have nicely overlapped so yeah okay I don't think that was a bad decision in the end 740 okay and we have we've got a large transport uh, updated position at 740 and Right click. Uh, okay, so um, partial intelligence on enemy task force, and this is the direction it's taken. All right. So we've got a large task force. So maybe it might be an idea to now send out. What have we got here? Ah, okay, all right. So it goes from five to seven forty. Uh, large transport in X three five six six by the Port Moresby aircraft. Uh, all right. So maybe uh, time to conduct some more. So let's now send out, um, okay, what would be the best, uh, I th think, pretty much a, a northerly, north-northeast search. Yeah, okay. So we're going to move this to here, and our search, wait, that all search units come back before changing the pattern. Ah, okay. So maybe should I go with a 10 hex one, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. That sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go with a 10 hex search. So let's move this into here, and we're going to go with a 10 hex search. Oops. Uh, west. Sixty degrees northwest. West. Twenty degrees. Um. um, 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 um uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Why not? Let's do that. Make that, I don't know, make that repeatable? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so we have got left um, eight torpedo bombers and four. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go again. Right, okay. The plot thickens. 
can I can I move this? Yes, I can. Let's move this here, and let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got large transport, uh, small surface, medium transport. Large transport is heading directly. Looks to be down the down the slot here. Uh, this looks to be heading this way. So yeah, so. Um, okay, so what do we got? Yep. So it's basically our Port Moresby aircraft that's been doing all the work. And let's just. Okay, so these are our search patterns. And let's clock on. Yeah, I should have made this a smaller search, a smaller search pattern. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, let's go again. Okay, now there's a chance that our uh, naval air could contact. Let's. All right. So uh, the final score is a U.S. strategic victory. Uh, we detected 96 points worth of task force. This is, uh, okay. Uh, in order to win, you've got to score at least 20 points and more than your opponent. Yeah. Each detected task force scores twice its current intelligence level carrier and four times. Yeah, okay. Any losses? No, we didn't have any losses. Uh, okay, so I mean, essentially, uh, very much like a, a war game style of, um, uh, yeah, you know, you, uh, you go, I go sort of thing. And uh, from what I understand, uh, the calculations are basically based on 10 sided dice. Uh, with modifications. Uh, so, look, there you have it. A first look at um, uh, carriers in the uh, Pacific, uh, World War II. Uh, I must admit, uh, oh, I've been given a medal. Um, that's not bad. Uh, I played uh, the Strategic Studies Group Carriers at War uh, in the early 2000s. Yeah, 2000, uh, 2007, I think it was released. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this feels a little bit like it. Uh, it's only been out, uh, I think, for about a year. It was uh, about 42 Australian dollars. Um, so, yeah, uh, maybe what I'll do is... Uh, let me go back to the main menu. Maybe do the... First battle tutorial. Uh, we've done the naval search. I'll do the first uh, battle tutorial uh, in uh, in the next broadcast, and then you can see all the different um, scenarios uh, right up to the end of Rebel. All right. Thanks for uh, watching. And, uh, okay, everybody stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, fly safe, check your six. Okay, bye.